Welcome back to Intuitive Message Monday. Huge, huge, huge shifts are happening tomorrow, November 19th, collectively and individually for some of you. Stick around, watch this video all the way through so I can give you all the updates. Coming at you from my car, I was, I'm on CSP right now in Florida. I was going to take a video somewhere beautiful, but it just wasn't working out the way I wanted it to. So here we are, done is better than perfect, right? Or maybe we should call this cosmic car conversation. But I'm in, yeah, I'm an intuitive. I do transformational work for top leaders, entrepreneurs, and public figures. People come to me for upgrades, level ups, infinite possibilities, the magic, the miracles. Well, I love to take the heaven, the, the ethereal concepts and ground it into the material world so that we can one, be our absolute best selves, make a lot of money doing what we love to do, being in our highest and best relationships and how to navigate that from higher self, source, God. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something I never talk about, obviously, because I'm gonna be talking about a planetary transit. So something more in astrology, which I'm not an astrologer at all, but when I learned that this was happening, I kept getting a lot of guidance about it. So I wanted to share because it felt feels like a really important one. Pluto, which is the planet of destruction, transformation, it, it's positive, positive change. Any kind of change is positive, even if it doesn't feel like it. Since 2008, it's shifting tomorrow. So Pluto has been in Capricorn. A lot of cardinal signs are going to be impacted by this. So Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, and Aries. If you are have a cardinal sign in your sun, moon and rising this will impact you more than potentially others but again it will impact everyone so let me know in the comments if you have that as your sun moon and rising if you want to look up your chart and you're not familiar with this you can look on an app called the pattern that's a good one or cafeastrology.com you can pull your birth chart up and you can see what your sun moon and rising is I am a Capricorn sun, so may have influenced me wanting to make this video too, and an Aries moon. If you've been through challenges since 2008, look back to 2008 and see what has come up for you as a theme. We're coming to a close with those themes and we're opening a whole new cycle. What I feel for this new cycle is a lot of um, things that were once stalled or the areas, again, that the patterns that maybe were really hard for you to break for whatever reason, even if you were doing a lot of deep inner work around them, those cycles are closing out. So one thing that everyone could do this week, whether you are a cardinal sign or not, is to write down and really look back to 2008 and see what are some major themes and cycles for you that you are ready to close out, that you feel intuitively are closing out, that you're noticing, you're feeling lighter around, and things are changing. We're also entering this new age. We're moving, Pluto is moving into Aquarius. And what I feel this is going to do for our collective is we're moving into a time of much more collaboration and coming together. The planet has been awakening. It's gonna to continue to awaken. Every, 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 every industry is getting a leadership glow up. Many of you are going to be the new industry leaders and or at least a part of leading the new way in your industry. That's one of the reasons why you're here on this video because you're a light worker, you're a leader, you're a star, you're from the stars, you're here to make a change. So if you resonate with that, know that you're not going crazy, that you are one of us. Let me know in the comments if you're one of us and I'm seeing LG to me. I'm getting that. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. We've got this. Ending this transit is going to be huge and stepping into the new is also going to be massive for our collective. New beginning started really in October. I felt like this fresh new air in October, but I feel like so much is going to be shifting now. Everything that you that you touch is about to turn to gold, especially for these cardinal signs but i really also feel it just for i feel like there's different levels of support even coming in that you're going to feel more supported by your angels god the universe as you step into this new chapter as you take a deep breath in with me right now and exhale out through your mouth what are you ready to let go of from the last 15 to 16 years i have all my clients do this a lot often because anytime we're opening a new cycle, we're becoming someone new, right? We are ready to close out the old. And the best way to do that is to see the gift in it. What have you learned? How have you grown? And to seek to find and choose to have gratitude for all of these lessons. If things have really come to a head over the last year, because this year has been that for a lot of people, it's because you are opening a whole new portal to a whole new cycle where those patterns don't impact you as much as they were, right? They become lessons and wisdom for you to use on your journey to help other people. So what are you leaving behind? I would journal about this, but I would honestly just think about it now, just so you don't say, okay, I'll journal later and then like forget, because this is what we do as humans. 
right? We forget. So thinking about what cycles you're closing and then what one are you opening? I want you to feel into all the success that's before you, especially in areas of leadership, abundance, money, happiness, joy, relationships, togetherness, intimacy, connection. It's all truly connected. Love and money is so connected. So I feel like new chapters and cycles opening up where you feel so supported, but you allow yourself to be supported in a new way. And where you also are bold in your expression, courageous in your expression as a leader so that you can grab those opportunities that are truly meant for you, right? Courage is going to be needed in this next chapter and for you and for everyone really to stay in our hearts. I hope that this update really helped you. I'm excited about the next step forward and excited for what's to come. And I hope that you are too. If you know of anyone who could be helped by this video, make sure to send it to them and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube. And if you want to get certified as a coach, all the information's below. If you want to work with me for 2025 or any portion of it, click below and apply. And I'm so excited to see who else I get to help transform in the coming year. And I'm so grateful that you're here.